Oh, Holsworthy, did we get it wrong? I should have researched you before we drove on to other pastures. I have discovered some very special things about you, and I do hope I might get a chance one day to put the record straight. Welcome back to Bood. Bood is a small seaside resort town in northeast Cornwall at the mouth of the River Neat. The Bude Canal was a canal built to serve the hilly hinterland in the Cornwall and Devon border territory in the United Kingdom, chiefly to bring lime bearing sand for agricultural fertilizer. The Boot Canal system was one of the most unusual in Britain. It was remarkable in using tub boats on wheels to haul to the upper levels. There were only two conventional locks in the short broad canal section near the sea at Bude itself. It had a total extent of 35 miles and it rose from sea level to an altitude of 433 feet. Many ships have been wrecked on the jagged reefs which fringe on the base of the cliffs. The figurehead of one of these, the Ben Colin, a barrack whose wrecking in 1862 resulted in the drowning of most of the crew, was preserved in the churchyard, but was later transferred to the town museum to save it from further decay. The aftermath of the wreck of the Benkulin was described by Robert Stephen Hawker in letters which were published in Hawker's political works from 1879. So let's go and have a look in the museum and see what we can find about these dangerous times on the water here.
Here, a short extract from the story of Bude Haven and the Wreck of the Ben Coolin by William Maskell. I will put the link below. It makes for amazing reading. One such case occurred a few years ago. Which few who saw it have forgotten? It was blowing very hard, dared upon the shore, and a brig, which had been watched all morning, struggling against the storm, and vainly endeavouring to beat out, so as to weather Heartland, was observed at last to be making the entrance of the harbour. The sea was running heavily, in tumbling billows, breaking far outside the furthest reef of the rocks. It was doubtful whether the captain knew the coast or not. If he did, the gale and sea were too great to have much hope. And he, if he did not, his chances of escaping was nothing. Every signal which might direct him, however, was made, and in a very short time, the brig was inside the breakers. In such a storm, she seemed half a minute to have been driven through them. The captain was at the helm and clung to it. And on that really serious note, we left the museum and went up to the supermarket that we spotted during our wandering around and got some groceries. Because, I mean, you know, we did have to fill our tummies from time to time. There's a first time for everything. I've never bought pre-boiled eggs before. Apparently there was another problem with the chicken fever. It had been a long day and we really deserved this break before I started dinner and then plotted our day for the next adventure. So um, enjoy dinner. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you'd like to see more don't forget to subscribe hit that bell and i really love reading your comments i'll see you again soon more beautiful countryside to come